everyone, and welcome back to the Brugley channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a backrooms level called You Cheated. This one has been requested by literally over a thousand of you, so today, I thought I'd go over it. Without any further ado, let's hop into the video and see why you should never try to cheat your way through the backrooms. So Backrooms level you cheated is classified as a class dead zone and is very unsafe. And I mean very unsafe. The level also has the presence of lethal entities and on top of that, the properties of the level are constantly changing so it's hard to map how dangerous it is. But as you can tell, it's not going to be safe at all. Now the level physically looks like an old server closet. You know what I'm talking about, you know, those rooms with old server towers and boxes and wires, dust and old computers and that kind of stuff everywhere. This level is pretty much a prison for people who try to cheat their way through the backrooms levels. And I'll tell you what that means in the exit portion of the video. But this level is so dangerous because if you move or mess with any of the clutter here, you will instantly fall over unalived. Like you will literally just fall over and not be alive. On the spot, no questions asked. And if you think you're going to be smart and try to no clip through a wall or a floor, well then you'll instantly be sent to the void level if you do that. And that isn't even close to the worst part of what can happen here. Within just five minutes of being here, the cheater, or you, because the person in this level is always referred to as the cheater, will start to notice the level itself changing a bit. Parts of the ceiling will start to collapse on top of you, and entities will start to pour in the room from the roof. As the time passes even more to 10 minutes, even more of the ceiling will fall open, and it opens up more opportunities for entities to jump right on top of you. If you somehow make it to the 20 minute mark, you'll see the electronics start to literally explode. Computers, monitors, servers, wires, all of it is just blowing up and causing fire to spread throughout the entire area. At this point, the level has fire, entities, a collapsing ceiling, and you will pass away if you touch or move anything. Cool. After around the 30 minute mark of being in the level, the power will completely go out and it'll be pitch black besides the light that the fire brings. At this point, a set of doors will also be opened up randomly, which you better run to those doors before it gets worse because if you don't, the room's gonna combust and blow up. So, and that room that is about to blow up that you're hopefully running out of was called the main room. But now that you left this main room, you will be entered into a maze of winding and turning hallways. These hallways are very claustrophobic and they have arcade systems throughout them. And while you're making your way through these hallways and walls and everything, these entities and that fire from the main room will follow you out and chase you. After an hour of being in this terrible level, if you're still alive, you'll need to run around the hallways until you find a quarter laying somewhere on the ground. And when you find that quarter, you have to run and find the nearest arcade machine to put the quarter inside of. Once you do that, you'll be given the ability to leave the level and go back to where you entered from as sort of a retry at the back rooms. But if you don't put the quarter in, well then a smiler is probably gonna eat you. Speaking of entities like smilers, the main ones here are smilers and skin stealers, but there are also some other entities that are unique to the level, like the server boxes themselves. Now they aren't just technology servers like from real life, they're some kind of sentient entity. There's also other unidentified entities that chase you around that aren't like any other ones. Even if they were though, it would be kind of hard to see what they were because you're running around for your life through a maze of hallways. I think the last thing you're going to be worried about is looking what entities are following you. Now this level calls you a cheater for a reason, because it's like a sick form of punishment for people who try to cut corners in the back rooms or cheat their way through it. For instance, one reason you might get sent to this level is because you tried to no clip back to reality within the first five levels of the back rooms. So let's say you're on level one and you're like, well, let me just try to glitch back to the real world. Well, that's considered cheating to the backrooms, I guess. And if that happens, you'll be sent here to level you cheated. Or if you cheat on an arcade game in level 3999, which is a backrooms exit level, you'll be sent here as well. So don't cheat. And there's other things like that as well. There are other things that can send you here, like trying to open up locked doors or trying to no clip past levels that you don't want to go to. If you're trying to avoid level exclamation mark or something, that'll get you sent here as well. Or at least that's the leading theory, because only a few people have survived 
this level to tell the story. This level honestly probably deserves to be in the top five scariest levels in all of the back rooms, simply for the fact that you can be sent here without even knowing you're going to be. Like imagine just glitching out of reality, falling into the back rooms and learning how to no clip, and then thinking to yourself, you know what, I think it'll be fine if I just try to get back home. All for that to just send you to this level where you have to run around for hours on end avoiding entities and fire just to escape that level and be sent back to the back rooms where you came from. I mean, that's literally one of the worst fates imaginable in all of the back rooms. Let me know what you think down below. Is this level worse than level exclamation mark or is it the same or is it better? Because to be honest with you, I think it might be worse. Level exclamation mark has a straight hallway to run through while this one has curving hallways, fire and more entities. And to get to this level, it's literally just completely random. So I don't know. It's a toss up. To exit the level, you have to survive an hour, then find the quarter I mentioned to put into the nearest arcade machine, and you'll be sent out where you came from. And then hopefully you learned to not cheat in the back rooms, because the back rooms as a whole doesn't like cheaters, apparently. That was it for the video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Thank you for watching to the end. And thank you to everybody who suggested this level for a video. I really liked it. Hope you did too. I really like this one because I love levels that make the back room seem alive. You know, that they're sentient. They're trying to hurt you on purpose. That's what makes levels cool. And this one's pretty cool. Anyways, thank you all so much for everything you do for me. Make sure to go below. As always, check out Toogly Spoogly. If you want more of me, that's why I upload more videos a week. And make sure to go check out my third channel, Spoogly. Because I upload a couple times a week over there as well. I'm getting into some shorts over there where I divulge some conspiracy theories, some crazy stuff like that. Theories on the world, religion, mythos, all that kind of stuff. We're talking about it in Spoogly as well as SCPs and cryptids. Everything over there that's really cryptic is going up constantly and I appreciate you all for subbing. Channel just hit 22,000. So help me get there by 50k by the end of the year as well. What if Toogly and Spoogly both hit 50k? That would be insane. Thank you all so much for continuing to support me. I really appreciate you all and I really appreciate everybody who comments and likes and interacts with the videos and joins, uh, you follow us on my Twitter, joins Discord, everything like that. I really appreciate you all for that. The Brooklyn community is utterly insane. I mean, literally, it's, it's the best fan base I've ever seen. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next video.